Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this. Want to know how you would draw that in Corel? Well, to me, uh, I'm pretty sure they're talking about just the border. I'm just going to take a rectangle, whatever size you think it needs to be. You know, that's 10 by 5. I'm going to go to object and convert that object to a curve. Then I'm going to take the shape tool and I'm going to grab these two nodes and I'm going to, and because I, I noticed the picture, these are tighter curves than the sides. The sides have less of a curve than these. So I'm just going to add nodes. When you do that, it adds nodes on the other side. So we're going to call that good because it put the same amount of nodes lengthwise as across. So these are going to be tighter together. Now we need to take all those nodes and right click and turn them into a curve. And then we just need to kind of look at this and set our nudge factor on um, I'm using somebody else's file and we don't really need that but I want to set that on that and I'm going to say 0.25 and then I'm going to take their nodes and I'm going to go up and down up and down up and down and then up so we've got kind of that shape now that might be too much uh, you know let's uh, let's back up here and change that kind of make it look more like it so let's change our nudge factor to 0.12 or 0.15 go back to the shape tool select all these nodes and let's go up, down, up, down, up, down. And you could do this with another tool called the zipper tool. And then on here, we kind of need to think about it, um, what we want to do here, because now if we go out, we really don't have that shape, but we can maybe correct that. So we're going to go in, out, I'm, I'm just hitting the left and then the right arrow keys. Now, we need to kind of make this, and from a distance, it looks like they're sharp, but they're not. Let's take this node and take it away and see what happens. Looks pretty good. Now, there's two trains of thought here. We could do a number of things. Let's take this. Take the shape tool and break that note apart. And let's take this one right here and break this note apart. Now we can delete with our virtual segment delete key. Ah, not the crop key, crop tool. And we can delete that line. Now we got two lines. And if we try control D, and then mirror it and mirror it. We still have that rough corner, but if we take the smart fill tool and fill that in to get a new shape. And then if we left click, right click, take the node and get rid of that same node. I think you're pretty dead on. And then what you could really do if you need to make it bigger or smaller, you can just, you know, change the size of it, whatever. And then I guess to finish it, uh, this was either painted or it almost looks like there's two layers. So you have to do is figure out how big a, uh, uh, border you want. And let's go to the inside. Uh, 0.125. That's not enough. Yeah, that's probably enough. And then go up to object, break contour apart. And if you took these two pieces, let's keep that for a second and get rid of that. And you made this one uh, a pink color. Well, you know what? I can grab it right off the picture. So if we go to whoop, Smart Fill Tool, get the eyedropper, 
and get that paint, put it in there, go to the eyedropper, now get this pink paint and put it there. Go ahead and put, let's take away the outline of both of them, right click, which you wouldn't want to do because um, you, you want to, uh, you want to cut them out, you know, before you paint them, but we're just going to take that one away so you can just kind of see. And then we're going to go ahead and hit P and that's what you would look like. So we're a little bit more pointed than his, but that could be, you know, that's totally adjusted in your drawing when you're doing exactly what I did, you know, side by side, side by side, they're pretty close. And then it would be yours anyway. I mean, you don't have to mimic the picture. I, I do agree. I like this wavy deal uh, where I have more of a natural wave. Uh, these could be a little bit less uh, curvy. Anyway, I hope that was answering this question and thank you for watching.